let's talk about the basics of using Windows Magnifier on Windows 10. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible and today we're going to go over the basics of Windows Magnifier on a Windows 10 computer. And we're also going to go over some keyboard shortcuts that could help you when using Windows Magnifier. This video is just going to be about the basics and I will be making more videos about some of the settings and some of the new updates in future videos. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. We do videos on technology, resources, and encouragement for people who are blind, visually impaired, and sighted supporters. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell for more videos like these. So let's get started. So here we are on the desktop and the easiest way to turn on magnifier is pressing the windows key, holding it down and pressing the plus sign on the number pad. So I'm going to press that and I already have mine to have a default zoom. And so it zooms in and now we can see the um, icons and the text larger. Another way to turn on magnifier is to press the Windows key and type in magnifier. You can press enter on the first one that comes up and it opens magnifier. Once you have it open, go to your taskbar, which is at the bottom, and click on the magnifier icon, and this is your magnifier control panel, basically. And so the first icon is to decrease magnification, and the next icon is to increase magnification, and it tells you um, what magnification level you're on. And the next button is a um, drop-down menu, which you can select if you want to be full screen, lens, or docked, or preview the full screen. And the button after that is the settings button. So you can click on the minimize button, and that way the window is out of your way while you're using magnifier. And if I press Windows Plus, it will increase the magnification. And if I press Windows Minus, it will decrease the magnification. You can also zoom in and out using your mouse. If you press and hold the control and alt keys, press um, scroll up with the mouse wheel to zoom in and scroll down with the mouse wheel to zoom out. And if you want to exit magnifier, all you have to do is press Windows Escape. And if you want to jump back in, Windows Plus again. And if you press Control alt i it will invert the colors. And I actually prefer this, um, probably not on the desktop, but if I am on the internet, so I'm going to open Chrome, and right here I'm on Facebook on the Live Accessible page. Um, it's, it's a lot of black on white and so I like to use control alt i and have it white on black and again I can zoom in and you can zoom out con windows minus another thing you can do is change the type of magnification so if you press control alt m you can toggle between the different magnification types. So right now we're in full screen, so the whole screen is being magnified. And if I press Control alt m it goes to Lens. So you move the mouse and it follows the mouse. And it'll magnify there. And you still have the same controls, so you can press increase the magnification, decrease the magnification. Um, and invert the colors. If you press Control alt m again, it will change to docked. And if you scroll to the top of the screen, it's going to show you your desktop. And there's a line right here. Um, it's, it's orange. Um, usually, if I uninvert it, it's going to be blue or white. Um, you just you press and hold with a mouse button. No. It will increase the size of the window. You have a magnified version on the top and a um, unmagnified version on the bottom. I'm going to switch it back to full screen and um, by pressing Control alt m you can also press Control alt f to jump back to full screen. Control alt l 
to go to lens and control alt d to go to the docked version another thing you can do is press control alt space and it'll temporarily zoom out you can move the mouse and wherever you move it to it will zoom back in in that portion of the screen so that's just a quick look at the Windows magnifier and again I will be doing more videos on some of the settings that you can change as well as um, some of the new updates in the newest version of Windows. So if you like this video give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on how you can live accessible. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.